Pretoria, the Bulls will be looking to bully the Hurricanes up front in Wellington tomorrow in their bid to reach the Super Rugby semi-finals. Bulls coach Pote Human has asked his pack of forwards to once again lead the charge in their quarter-final clash. Our pack will have to fire we have to physically bully them, that is the only way we can beat them. Human said, nobody expected us to be in the quarters so there is no pressure on us in. We can go and play, which will make us dangerous. The Bulls have the personnel with an impressive pedigree to do just that with the loose trio alone providing enough grunt to earn respect from the opposition. The trio is led by talismanic Springbok No. 8 Dwayne Vermeulen, who is well supported by Hanro Liebenberg and Marco Van Staden. RG's Nyman and Jason Jenkins are equally impressive as a second-row combination, while the front-row Sands Schalk Brits have been perhaps the most consistently good performers this year. Props. Lizo Giko Boca and Trevor Nyakane have carried the pack and deserve plenty of praise for their efforts this season. The Bulls may be targeting the forwards battle as a way to overcome the Hurricanes but it does not mean it will be an easy task. The Hurricanes are one of the top sides at the breakdown, where they slow opposition ball and test the boundaries of the rules. We have to stop them there, we need to try and get quick ball, which may not be easy against them but we will prepare well. Human said, we will do what we can to get quick ball and if they flood, we will have numbers on our feet so it will be interesting. Human has named his strongest possible side for the clash despite being unable to call on stalwarts Brits and Berger Odendal. Brits has not recovered from flu and Odendal has a collarbone injury. Jesse Creel will make his return from an ankle injury which will cushion the blow of Odendal's absence. Creel will partner Johnny Coates in midfield, and the Bulls will hope the Springbok center will pick up from where he left off before his injury at the end of April. The Protoria side are cautious about the Hurricanes' back line which is brimming with X-Factor players who can run a team ramp in from anywhere on the field. The Hurricanes' back line reads like a weapons catalogue with the likes of Ngani Laumape, TJ Perinera, and Bowden and Jordi Barrett providing enough firepower to blow up any team. Bulls captain Hander Pollard said that while the odds may favor the Hurricanes, they still fancy their chances of causing an upset against the Kiwi franchise. They play at home, have won this competition before and have so many strike players that will keep us busy. Pollard said, We have found some good momentum in the last couple of weeks. Though and will back ourselves on Saturday. The Bulls team v Hurricanes. Warwick Gallant, Cornell Hendricks, Jesse Creel, Johnny Coates, Roscoe Speckman, Hander Pollard, Andre Warner, Dwayne Vermeulen, Hanro Liebenberg, Marco Van Staden, R.G. Snymon, Jason Jenkins, Trevor Nyakane, Yako Vizagi, Lizo Giko Boka. Replacements, Johan Grabelar, Simpiwa Matanzima, Wehan Herps, Jans Kirsten, Ruan Steenkamp, Ivan Van Zyl, Manny Libach, Devan Rossau. Pretoria News. Greatest individual rivalries in sports, MSN. In probably one of the most talked about tennis rivalries in the modern era, the Swiss maestro has faced off against the fiery Spaniard 38 times. Although Nadal L. emerged victorious in 23 matches in the rivalry, Federer leads the entire men's division with a record score of 20 Grand Slam singles titles. Nadal follows close behind with 17 Grand Slam wins. Despite their heated in-court battles, the two have remained great friends. Asterisk all figures updated as of June 5, 2019. Arguably the best soccer players in the world at present, Argentina's Messi, R, and Portugal's Ronaldo have a total of 10 FIFA Ballon d'Or awards between them, with five each. While Messi has stayed loyal to Barcelona throughout his career, scoring 603 goals for the club so far. Ronaldo has played for Sporting CP, Manchester United, Real Madrid and Juventus to score a total of 601 goals, just too short of the Argentine. In terms of sheer numbers, Woods L of the U.S. far outweighs compatriot Mickelson, winning 15 majors to the latter's five. 
However, on the fairway, Mickelson, nicknamed Lefty, has often been the only golfer to come close to Woods in terms of skills and ability. In 2018, an unofficial head-to-head -head clash of the two legends was organized in Las Vegas, Nevada, U.S., where Mickelson took home the million match play payday. The rivalry between Bird, L, and Johnson traces back to the latter's victory over the former in the 1979 NCAA National Championship. As the pair graduated to the NBA, their personal duel continued as part of the wider rivalry between the Boston Celtics Bird and the Los Angeles Lakers Johnson. The contest between the two peaked between 1984 and 1987, when the two teams won the NBA Finals in alternate years. The 1971 World Heavyweight title fight between champion Frazier, L, and Ali has been described by many as one of the greatest fights of all time, and bore cultural significance as a symbolic battle between left, Ali, and right, Frazier, politics. The fight in New York City saw Frazier hand Ali his first-ever professional loss. Ali bounced back in the non-title match 3. Years later though, before reclaiming the title in the Thrilla in Manila match in 1975, a rivalry that could be Formula One's greatest ever, the competition between four-time world champion Alain Prost R, and three-time winner Ayrton Senna peaked around 1988-91, when both raced for the McLaren team. They took pot shots at each other in press conferences, the most famous being the Brazilian's rant at the Frenchman in 1993, when he called Prost a coward. The competition between the two was restricted to the track however, and Prost was a pallbearer at Senna's funeral following his shocking crash in 1994. The 1940s and 50s were glorious for American baseball, as two of the greatest players of all time, Williams L. and DiMaggio, went head-to-head -head for the Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees, respectively. Williams, who had 521 home runs and 2,654 hits to his name, had an upper hand over DiMaggio, 361 home runs and 2,214 hits. However, DiMaggio, who won nine World Series championships, went on to become the player with a greater legacy. India's Tendulkar, R, and Warren of Australia, all-time greats in the world of cricket, played against each other on several occasions during the 1990s and early 2000s. The Aussie spinner, however, often claims that Tendulkar is one batsman he always feared, especially after the hammering he took when the pair met in the final of the Coca-Cola Cup in 1998. Tendulkar knocked an impressive 134 from 131 balls, leading his team to victory. Pumped up by Cold War tensions, the match of the century took place in 1972, when Soviet defending champion Spassky L took on American challenger Fisher. The historic match, which lasted for 21 games over a month, saw the end of the Soviet domination when Fisher won 12 and a half to eight and a half. Fisher became the first American born in the U.S. to win the prestigious world title. As the captains of Manchester United and Arsenal in the late 1990s and early 2000s, Keane and Vieira led the charge in one of Premier League's greatest rivalry. Both combative central midfielders, they were constantly involved in the action when the clubs met, which resulted in several altercations both on and off the pitch. While the playing styles of two of the all-time greats in tennis Borg, L, the cool Swede, and McEnroe, the fiery American, were in complete contrast, their record against each other was identical, with both emerging victorious on seven occasions. Their most famous meeting was a five-set thriller at Wimbledon in 1980. Although Borg won at the time, McEnroe went on to get his revenge a year later. While Borg has a total of 11 Grand Slam titles under his belt, McEnroe has seven. Apart from their nationalities, not much is common between the two Americans. Their clash of styles on and off the court made for an amazing rivalry between Sampras, L, and Agassi in the 1990s. 
Pistol Pete often came out on top, winning four of their five Grand Slam finals meetings. Overall, Sampras has won 14 Grand Slams in his career, while Agassi has won eight. The 1997 fight between Holyfield R. and Tyson saw one of the most infamous moments not only in the history of boxing, but the sporting world altogether. Holyfield, who had beaten Tyson in their previous fight despite being the underdog, left the match after being bitten by Tyson on the ear, pictured. Tyson was disqualified from the fight. The two pugilists met professionally on those two occasions only. Their shared position on the pitch and the long-standing competition between their South American homes provides the basis for the Pele-Maradona rivalry. However, it's the apparent enmity between the two and the absence of a definitive on-pitch showdown that stokes up the rivalry's intrigue. Pele, R, who is striker for Brazil, can point to his three World Cup wins as evidence of his superiority, although the Argentines' winning performances at the 1986 World Cup are arguably the greatest the game has ever seen. For their national teams, Pele amassed 77 goals in 92 appearances, while Maradona scored 34 goals in 91 games. The controversial four-fight series between Marquez, L, and Pacquiao is one of the most memorable of the 2000s. Each blighted by point disputes, the first fight ended in a draw, the second and third in Pacquiao's favor, before Marquez roared back with victory in the fourth. In the last match, Marquez knocked out his rival with just a second remaining in the sixth round, earning the title of Knockout of the Year by The Ring magazine. Nevratilova, L, and her chief adversary Evert, both representing the U.S., were embroiled in a battle that spread over a decade. Evert beat Navratilova in their first Grand Slam final at the 1975 French Open, but could only beat her in three more Grand Slam finals out of 14. Each of them has 18 Grand Slam titles in their purse. For nearly a decade, the heated rivalry between Graf L. and Celes saw 15 incredible matches. Graf, thanks to her formidable forehand, emerged victorious in 10 matches. Between the two of them, the pair has 31 Grand Slams, with Graf leading with 22 titles. One of golf's greatest rivalries involved American compatriots Nicholas R. and Palmer, as they went on to clock up 25 majors between them following their first meeting at the 1960 U.S. Open. As the rivalry began to take shape, both excelled in their assigned roles. Nicholas would eventually come out on top, collecting 18 majors in total. Despite being sisters, Serena and Venus Williams showcase some of the best rivalry moments the world has ever seen. They have faced off 30 times against each other, with Serena winning on 18 occasions. Since they know each other's playing style so well, the two make a formidable team as well, winning 22 doubles titles. Individually, Serena has 23 Grand Slams in her purse, while Venus has 7. Possibly the best quarterbacks in modern football, Brady, L, and Manning's teams have faced each other 17 times, with the former coming out victorious in 11 occasions. In NFL playoffs, the two have met five times, with Manning leading the series 3-2. The Boston Celtics' Russell, L, became involved in one of the game's greatest rivalries when Chamberlain arrived on the scene in the early 60s. The pair faced off in eight playoff series, with Russell winning seven. Their rivalry was spiced up when their off-court friendship fell apart due to Russell referring to Chamberlain as a malingerer following Game 7 of the 1969 NBA Finals. The two did not speak for two decades, before Russell apologized publicly. They were teammates in the Los Angeles Lakers and formed a near-invincible partnership at the turn of the millennium, taking their team to three consecutive NBA titles since 2000. After their personal differences and arguments over respective roles in the team reached a breaking point, O'Neal, L, was traded to Miami Heat in 2004. Interestingly, Bryant outscored O'Neal. Every time, they were pitted against each other but the latter leads 7-4 in terms of wins in head-to-head -head meetings. 
O'Sullivan R. could easily have been the greatest snooker player of all time, if not for a certain Stephen Hendry, who has seven world championships under his belt. While five-time world champion O'Sullivan, described as a naturally gifted potting machine, has been a model of impatience, arrogance and eccentricity, Hendry is the perfect idol for any young player with his composed persona and well-calculated shots. British compatriots Sebastian Coe, number 254, and Steve Avet, number 279, dominated the middle distance running circuit during the 1980s. Coe won two Olympic gold medals in 1980 and 1984, and went on to set three world records within 41 days in 1979. Avet, on the other hand, won the Olympic gold medal in 1980 and later set world records in the 1,500 meters race and the mile run. As employees of Sir Bobby Robson at Barcelona in the mid-90s, few would have imagined that Pep Guardiola, player, R, and Jose Mourinho, translator for coach Ronson, would go on to become two of modern soccer's fiercest rivals. Stylistic opposites, the friction between the two peaked between 2010-12 when they met as managers of Barcelona, Guardiola, and Real Madrid, Mourinho, and were frequently drawn into a war of words. Head-to-head, -head, Guardiola lead their 22 clashes with 11 wins, 6 draws and 5 losses.